Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be lounge makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. So I'm back today with another massive beauty haul. As I mentioned in my last Sephora VIB Rouge sale haul, I still had more goodies to share with you guys that still had not arrived in the mail and they finally have arrived. So I have to divide the video in two and do a second beauty haul for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and link the first one in the description box down below in case you guys have not had a chance to check it out. But for this video, it's gonna be more of a collective haul because I did get other goodies from other brands directly on their websites. From the brand Caudalie, they had a major sale going on and I did stock up on some products. Some some old products that I love and also some new products that I wanted to try. I got some hair products from the brand Avita. I also got some bath products from Lush and then of course all the other products from Sephora that I did not share with you guys in the first video. As always everything I mentioned is going to be listed in the description box down below in case you guys want to check them out and we better get started with my beauty haul. I'm going to go ahead and put in the description box down below the time for when I get to each brand like when I start the Caudalie products I'll show you where I start that or the Sephora so in case you guys want to skip to the section of the products that you're interested in seeing that I actually bought I will actually do that for you just in case because I have a feeling this video is going to turn out to be a little bit longer than I would want to but I did have a lot of goodies to share with you guys. So first I'm going to start off with the items that I bought at Caudalie. I got great deals at Caudalie on their website. There was a huge sale and I was able to get one of my favorite products at a 50% off discount which is huge and it's a product that I use and abuse all the time so I really wanted to stock up and I thought it was a really good deal. A follower on Instagram gave me the heads up and I was so grateful because I was gonna get the beauty elixir anyway at the Sephora sale with a 20% off but the 50% off was just such a better deal and it came in a nice little set this is the set that I purchased at Caudalie so it has the beauty elixir it also has the instant foaming cleanser and it has the instant detox mask so I was able to get this 50% off. You guys saw that the Caudalie is about like $50, so I pretty much got it for half. And since it was such a good deal, I ended up getting two of these. Also from Caudalie, I got this Vino Source little set. And I had had my eye on the serum already for a while. It has hyaluronic acid, and I was already running out of my serum that has hyaluronic acid. And I thought I'm gonna test a new one. And I had seen that Caudalie serum at Sephora, and I just thought when I run out of the other one, I'll go back and get it. And then when I saw at the website that they had this little set with this has the Creme SOS Hydration Intense Moisturizing Cream, and then the SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. And then I just thought, let me just get the set because. I love trying the moisturizers. I actually bought another moisturizer from Caudalie at Sephora, which is the one I'm currently using. So this is another one that I definitely want to use and test out because I just love the brand. I also got a little mini of the Beauty Elixir. I think that the minis are great for travel since it is a glass bottle. I don't really like taking the big one when I go on trips, so I like to have the small size. And the last two items that I bought at Caudalie were my moisturizing toner. I had to restock on this one anyway, so so I just went ahead and bought it because I'm already about here with the toner. I really like it. It is a very gentle toner. I also wanted to try out the Wiener Pure Purifying Toner. This is not a gentle toner, definitely not a moisturizing toner. This is probably one that is more suited for oily skin, but I did want to get it because I wanted to have a little bit of a stronger toner for the times when my skin is kind of like acting up, that I have a little bit more oils, that I'm a little bit more, you know, hormonal, and I have some breakouts because I have been getting some breakouts in the chin area. Usually it coincides with like, you know, the time of the month. So I kind of wanted something that was a little bit stronger, not to use on a daily basis, just to use when I really need it. Now for the products that I got at Lush, the very first thing that I was most excited about was that I restocked on my rehab shampoo this is the rehab shampoo to me this is the best shampoo it is like one of my top two favorites this one and the Avita shampoo is the second one I was also super excited that online you can get this huge size this one is 33.8 fluid ounces usually the one that I get is the size like this this is the dirty spring wash which is a shower gel another one of my favorite products from Lush but usually at the store I get the rehab shampoo in this size this is 16.9 fluid ounces I don't think I've ever seen this huge size 
guys at the actual store. And like I just shared with you guys, the Dirty Spring Wash is one of my favorite body washes from Lush. And this just says that it's a very tingly, minty gel to keep your cool in a steamy shower. And that's exactly what it is. It's minty, it feels soft, it just smells so good. An invigorating shower gel, highly recommend it. I also got some body lotions from Lush. I got the Sleepy Body Lotion and I also got the Dream Cream. I have used the Sleepy Body Lotion and this one I love. I kind of almost wish that I would have gotten the bigger size, but I got the small size. This is 3.1 ounces. And then the Dream Cream, I had never tried. I know that is a very popular body lotion, and this one is 1.7 ounces. It's a little bit smaller, the size, than the Sleepy. That is why I got it in this size. And this one doesn't smell as great as the sleepy one. So I hope I like it when I apply it on the body, but I was a little bit disappointed with the scent. I kind of just wish I would have just gotten the sleepy one in the big size and that's it, and not even try to experiment with a new one, but I had seen such good reviews that I wanted to test it out. So I'll let you guys know once I try it, but as for the scent, I didn't really love it all that much. Then I also got some shaving creams. I got the Prince shaving cream and the Dirty shaving cream. I knew I had used one of these, but I couldn't remember which one it was. So I just went ahead and got both. I think that I would have gotten the smaller size, but it wasn't available in the prints. So I just got the big one and just took the risk because for some reason I thought it was this one. But when I smelled it, I realized I was wrong. The one that I loved the most was the dirty. But this one, it does have a pretty good scent. And I think I'll still get you good use out of it. I'm for sure gonna finish them off both. But the one that I had actually used in the past was the dirty one and the dirty one, I love the scent. It just makes it, oh, I'm like a sucker for scents, especially from Lush. So if it has a better scent, I tend to go for the one that I like the way it smells because I just feel like I'm in a spa like when I'm shaving. So got the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. This is one that I used to love back in the day. It used to be one of my favorite scrubs ever it has like oh it has like a lot of like colors it's like a whitey color then it has like turquoise and mint greens and it's just you kind of have to mix it up first but this one is one that i loved for a long time then the scent changed a little bit and it wasn't as great as how i remembered it but I just thought it's been a while, probably a couple years since I have actually used it. So I thought I would just give it another shot and I got it again. So this is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. The bath bombs, I got the Calavera bath bomb and this is what it looks like. This one smells so good. Oh my God, I love how it smells. I'm trying to see this little paper. They send you like a little paper where they have the names of everything that you got because after a while, I don't even know what all the bath bombs and the bubble bars and all those things are called. So I really liked that the packaging came with a little thing like this that pretty much tells you everything that you got and the names. So this is the Calavera bath bomb. Excited to use it, I love for the bath. The items that I like the most from Lush are definitely the bath bombs. The other bath bomb I got is this one right here. It is like a peachy color. This one also smells good, but it doesn't like catch my attention as much as the Calavera one. And these both are ones that I had not used before. I just ventured and got some new bath bombs because it's the ones that were my favorites weren't available. This one is called the Olive Branch Bath Bomb. Then I wanted to test out some new Lush products for me that I really had never tried in the past. And I ended up getting some bath oils. I got the Double Vitality, the Dreamtime Luxury Bath Oil, and the Floating Island luxury bath oil. I've never tried these. Let me know if you guys have tried these and if you like it. This is the double vitality bath oil. It comes like in a pink star, hot pink type of packaging. They come in a little plastic. This one is the dream time one. And then this is the floating island one. It looks like this. They're like really small. I was actually very surprised to see how tiny they were. So I really can't picture these being all that, I don't know. I can't really picture me if I'm actually gonna feel them in the bath, but I'm excited to test them out. And the last item from Lush that I bought was a bubble bar. I have never tried a bubble bar from Lush in the past before. I never used to buy bubble bars when I was in my old place because my bathtub had jacuzzi jets. So bubbles and jacuzzi jets is just not a good mix because they just like, overflow and go crazy but now i don't have jacuzzi jets which i actually miss a lot but i don't have jacuzzi jets so i was like let me just test out a bubble bar and this is the sleepy bubble bar and it is huge do you guys put the whole bubble bar in the bath or can i like cut it and maybe use it up twice let me know your thoughts on how i should use it but this smells amazing it smells delicious i mean if this smells good 
and I feel that in the bath I would definitely want to test out more of the bubble bars but this one that I picked I was really glad that I picked it because I love the way it smells. Next from the brand Avita, I really only got two items for some reason I thought I had got more but I really just got two items from the brand Avita. I got the scalp benefits shampoo this is a balancing shampoo this is a shampoo that I used to love so much they discontinued it for a while and I just went on the website just to check out what they had and I saw that they had brought it back so I went ahead and I got the 33.8 fluid ounce the big one I love Avita. I use a shampoo or shampoo I actually love a lot of their products and then the second item that I got at Avita was a body lotion I bought the shampoo body lotion it's a very calming aroma and that's actually how they like to sell it it's kind of like aromatherapy the scent the shampoo scent is just so good I've tried the oil I've tried the candle I've tried that whole line and I love it and I had never tried the body lotion from the line so I wanted to test it out and check it out I really hadn't bought a body lotion in the products that I bought from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale so I just thought let me just get it from shampoo because I know I'll love that scent and I can just picture me like putting it all over my body so now it is time for the Sephora goodies and I did buy a lot more products from Sephora I especially bought a lot of hair products from Sephora so let's get started with those I'm gonna try to go as quick as possible because I'm sure this video is already long enough with the first half so now we're gonna do the final half which is Sephora products and there are a ton so the very first brand that is new that I wanted to share with you guys that I bought for the hair is this Misani brand I had never tested out this brand but the reviews were crazy they were such good reviews amazing comments about these products for the hair i got the 25 miracle cream it says 25 benefits leave-in from misani it has coconut oil uv filter and heat protection up to 450 and degrees i also got the misani nourishing oil and this it says it's a nourishing hair treatment with sunflower jojoba olive and coconut oil so First time I'm trying this brand, I will definitely let you guys know how I feel about them. A very hyped up product that I wanted to test out was from the brand Olaplex. This is the first time I ever tried this brand. And I got the Olaplex Hair Perfector. This is a number three. Repairs and strengthens all hair types. This is very, very pricey. It is 8.5 fluid ounces. I thought I was getting like a huge size, but this is pretty small compared to what I thought that I would get. But the reviews on this were amazing. And it even says this is like a limited edition bonus size. But I mean, it is really just not that big. I also wanted to test out some more products from the Way brand. I really like that brand. I'm a huge fan of their leave-in conditioner. I actually got that and shared it with you guys in my previous haul video. And now I got the Wave Spray, which looks like this. The packaging is just very, very simple. I also got the Volume Spray, where the liquid is just, you know, clear. This one is more like this type of color. And then I also got the Hair Oil. So I wanted to test it out way. I, like I said, I like the brand, and I wanted to see other products from this brand and see how they're doing. These all had really, really great reviews. From the brand Amika, I got the Bust Your Brass Cool Blonde Shampoo. I wanted to try a new shampoo. These are one of those purple shampoos that are very good for blondes. It removes any brassiness that you may have. And pretty much the only purple shampoo that I use is the John Frieda one from the drugstore. So I search for the ones that had really good reviews and this is one of them the amica bust your brass shampoo now going for some body products i did restock on my brazilian foreplay shower cream this is a shower cream that i really really love i actually had bought this before but i forgot to film this product so i didn't film this product but this i actually bought when I did my first haul. And then I also wanted to test out some herbivore body oils. I did get some body oils. I'm pretty much running out of all the body oils that I had. Some of the ones that I wanted were pretty much, some of the ones that I have used are discontinued, I believe. I have some from Origins and I have some from Fresh that I really liked, but I could not find them. So I thought, let me just test something out new. I got two from the brand Herbivore. I got the Herbivore Jasmine body oil and the Herbivore citrine body oil so excited to test this out from smelling them right off the bat I can tell you that I like the scent of the jasmine one more than the citrine one but they're both good again they have very good reviews a lot of the times when I try to venture for newer type of products I always check out the reviews then I also got the Kiehl's nourishing dry body oil this is another one that had amazing reviews and I wanted to test it out. From the brand this Drunk Elephant, I got the TLC Sakari Baby Facial, which is the one with the pretty baby pink top. 
This is supposed to be amazing. It has 25% AHAs and 2% BHAs. It also comes with a little sample of the virgin marula oil. So it comes with this little thing in the packaging. This is supposed to be amazing. I actually couldn't contain myself and I already used it. I used it last week for the first time. They say you should use it about once a week and it is basically like a facial. I did apply it with a brush. I just kind of like pumped it into like one of those foundation paddle type brushes. I put it on my face. I felt tingling at the beginning. It was like a lot of tingling. It was a bearable tingling. It does warn you that it's gonna happen. And then you leave it on for, I think it was like 20 minutes that I left it on. I was like reading all the instructions because I had heard that it was gentle but at the same time strong and whenever I use a product like that I kind of like really want to read about it before I put it on my face. I did feel that when I took it off my face was extremely extremely soft so I like that feeling. Of course I just use it once I can't tell you whether it works or not and then after I did use the virgin marula oil as they had instructed. From Beauty Blender I got the Blender Cleanser Solid Pro. This is the really big one for washing your brushes and beauty blenders. I mean it's really for the beauty blender. I like to use it pretty much mainly for the beauty blenders, but you can use it as a brush cleanser. And from Mario Badescu, I also got the buffering lotion. This is one that I used to use back in the day. I do use the drying lotion, which is the one that's kind of like that clear liquid and at the bottom it has like that pink looking type of clay thing. That one you kind of use more when your pimple is already like popping out and it's dry and the buffering lotion is one that I would always use when you have like a pimple like stuck in there you kind of like feel the bump but there's really nothing that's like coming through the skin or breaking you don't see like the the white head of the pimple so this just kind of helps it come out. Sometimes they come out, sometimes they don't, sometimes they just go away on their own and this is really good. I've gotten a couple of those this past month around the chin area so I was like I wonder if they have this one I have not bought the buffering lotion in so many years but this is one that I really really like so I do like those two products from Mario Badescu the drying lotion and the buffering lotion now let's get into the makeup this is the new makeup that I got at Sephora and one of the items that I was so excited about was that I got a Pat McGrath palette this is the very first time that I ever use a Pat McGrath product I have never ever tried it these palettes are very very pricey this is the mothership 5 bronze seduction eyeshadow palette and it's actually the one that I am using on my eyes today so I will definitely show you how I applied these products I did film myself doing some of the makeup on my face so I can kind of just like insert some of the images of me actually doing my makeup I had considered maybe doing like a try on haul but I had so many other products that I couldn't really try on like the hair products or the body products and then I just, you know, I just figured, let me just do my makeup and then I'll insert it so you see how it looks as I am applying it. So it's kind of like a little bit of both. I'm showing you the products like a regular haul, but also for the makeup, there's some that I did film myself as I was so using it. Just when you touch this palette, it looks so heavy. It looks like such a luxury palette. It's very, very heavy and it just looks like like very luxurious like you can tell that it's very expensive just from holding it so this is definitely not a palette that I would ever take on a trip with me because I'd be so scared that this would break and this is what the colors look like this is a one that I wanted to like you know test out some I didn't want to get one with too many crazy colors because I was like I'm not gonna really be using them but I also didn't want to get something that was so neutral kind of like everything I had so I thought that this was a nice little balance for me and today in the eyes I'm wearing these two colors and I'm wearing both of these colors on the crease so they went on so nice so smooth blended out really really well I really liked the palette I don't know if I'm gonna like really be buying a lot of these palettes because I think they're so pricey and I just have so much makeup but I did want to test out a Pat McGrath just because the products are very very good quality and you can definitely tell what good quality they are just from holding the palette and just from having used these shadows today you can definitely tell the great quality that these shadows are. From Patrick Ta I got the She Sincere blush this says it's monochrome moment velvet blush and I just thought that this was a very beautiful color I liked it because it was like a peachy nude type of color but not too coral and that's exactly what I wanted something nude something that I can wear with like an eye look like this I'm wearing it today I tested it out for the first time and I loved the way it applied on the cheeks but I really love the color it's exactly what I was looking for I like it because I didn't want it to look like NARS orgasm I'm not a huge fan of that blush and this is exactly 
what I was looking for. Kind of like a nudie type of blush. I wanted some new blushes. I haven't been very excited with my current blushes. I haven't really bought a blush in a while. So I did get some blushes in this second haul that I did with Sephora. From Jouer, I wanted to try these blush duos. This is the Blush Bouquet in the shade Coquette. These always have had really good reviews. This is what the packaging looks like. And these are the pink shades that I got. Of course, I went for a pink. Since a Patrick Ta, I had gone a more neutral, peachy type of shade I wanted to try something pink from Jouer with these duos. I was extremely excited for this next product I couldn't even believe that I got it at the price I got it I got it for 50% off and these are very pricey products it is the Natasha Denona diamond and blush palette this is really pretty baby pink palette and it was half off I couldn't even believe that I actually got my hands on this product when I saw the price and I clicked on it there were two available like two different colors one color was sold out and the color that was actually available was the pink one which I looked out because I would normally get the pink one anyway so it does have some cream products it has highlighters as well blushes and it just looks really really beautiful so I'm very excited about this one that was I think a really good deal it also had very good reviews from Tatcha I got the luminous dewy skin mask this is one of my favorite sheet masks the purple ones like this smells so good it just feels very good for your skin it does make you look like you're glowing Going from within after you use this mask is probably my favorite of the sheet masks. From Hourglass, I got some ambient lighting powders. These are ones that I have used in the past so much. I used to love them back in the day, and I recently got rid of them when I did like a clean out. And the two that I liked the most were definitely the Luminous Light and the Diffuse Light, but they were already pretty old, so I got rid of them. And they're just like a very unique type of press powder. Remember when they first came out, everybody was like, are these highlights? They don't show. They're also not really like a setting powder. It is just kind of like a powder that you just kind of like sweep over. You can sweep it over your entire face and it just gives you like a nice finished effect. It's supposed to be like a little filter for your face. This is the luminous and like it's really not too much to apply all over the face. The diffuse light, which is a little bit lighter, like a beigey type of color. This one I even use to like set my under eye concealer. See here you see the different type of colors that they are. This is the luminous and this is the diffuse light. And I have used it like all over my face. I've even used it as a setting powder. It worked really, really great, but it really is just that. Like it's just really nice to apply all over your face. It just gives you like a nice little finish look, like flawless finish look to your face when you finish all your makeup. From Hourglass, I got another one of the Vanish Flash Highlighting Sticks. I had bought the Champagne Flash in my previous haul, and I had mentioned that I kind of wish I would have gotten another one, so I ended up getting the Rose Gold Flash. It is the one that I am using today to highlight. I really love how it glided on the skin. It was very smooth, it mixed really well, and I actually think I'm gonna be keeping both of them. From the brand Nude Sticks, I bought the Nude Rose Gold Palette. I thought it was a very cute and unique product. It came in a nice little tin can that was rose gold, and inside you get a total of six pencils with their sharpener and they're great pencils for applying on the eye, kind of like your little cream base. I've always been a fan of these type of pencils and just the shades were beautiful. Today on my eyes, I actually used the pink Seychelles one and I really, really liked it. I love how it glided on. It reminded me a lot of like the Laura Mercier sticks that you use like for a cream eyeshadow. And I've been a big fan recently of nude sticks, of their lipsticks, of their little cheek and bloom, I think is what they're called, their little blushes and just all those stick pencil type products I really really like and this just had like beautiful selection of colors for the eyes. More from Hourglass, I got the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil. I got this in the shade Blonde and I also got the Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel also in the shade Blonde. From Charlotte Tilbury, I got another one of the Eye Color Magic Liner Duos. I got it in the shade Mesmerizing Maroon. This is the one that I applied today. I actually put the more plum matte color towards the outside of my lower lash line and in the waterline, and then the more metallic color more towards the inside of the waterline and also the lower lash line. So this one I loved. I love Charlotte Tilbury's pencils. So now I have both. This is 
is the other one that I actually had shared with you guys in my previous haul, which is the one called Copper Change. No, Copper Charge. So I got it. I got another one of these Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tint. I got it in the shade Papaya, which is like a really nice type of corally type color. And I tested it out. I swatched it. And I just like the way how it looks on your cheeks. It just gives you like a nice, healthy peachy color to your cheeks and I had bought the pink one in the pomegranate color and now I wanted to get the papaya color so now I have both of these I just really really liked From it. Fenty Beauty I got two cream blushes these are the new ones that just came out and I got them in the Fuego Flash color which is a very orangey tangerine type of color this one I had tried to get the first time around and it was sold out and then I got the bikini martini which is a more of a bubblegum pink type of color so I really wanted to you know get these two other colors I had already bought one so very excited about these I really like the way that they swatch and the way that they look on the cheeks it gives you like a nice little like healthy pop of color on your cheeks it does feel very different than the sciata tint and that is what i liked about it so i felt like the sciata one is more like a, a mauvey plummy pink and the peach is more of a coral peach whereas the cream one the fenty one the fuego flush is more like a more orangey tangerine type color and then this is like a bubblegum pink so they're all very very different from colors. pat mcgrath i got a gloss just to test out another really good product that i have heard great things about from the pat mcgrath brand this is a lust gloss Fernalia. it is a color like this which is a typical type of color that i always love so it's no different than what I usually tend to like gravitate towards and I haven't tried it Maybe I'll just try it now with you guys right here. First time I test it out. It is very very glossy mm, It's so pretty it feels very Very nice and juicy. I like it. This is dangerous because if you like fall in love with the gloss and you like want to get them in every color, which I am not going to do. The product I got is from Hourglass. I did get a lot of Hourglass products in these hauls. Is the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. And they look like this. They come in a little package like this. And it's almost like a... Um, it's a very glittery, unique type of product. Like glittery, kind of frosty, metallic. And it has that top type of thing. It reminds me of those L'Oreal that came out a while ago that were very very famous i recently just got rid of them because they were so old i had them in all these different colors but l'oreal has those little eyeshadows that come in a little pot i mean i think they still have them and then you kind of like just like flatten out with a little plastic type of thing like that but these just seem so beautiful and metallic i ended up getting four shades of these i got the shade ray and i'm gonna go from like top to bottom I got the shade Ray. This one right here is Reflect, which is the second one right here, which looks a little bit more rose gold. Then the next one is Smoke. Smoke is the one that looks a little bit more like a taupe color. And then the last one is called Foil, and that's the one that is more like a more golden, coppery type of color right here at the bottom. But I'm just really excited. They look very shimmery. I don't think that the camera does it just it it looks very like sparkly it almost reminds me of the pat mcgrath um eyeshadow that i patted on my lid how like glittery and shimmery and metallic it looks it just looks really really nice so i'm very excited to test these out i'm dying to test them out over the charlotte tilbury the cream eyeshadows like my marie antoinette i feel like it would look really really nice with a more like taupey one so excited to test these out again i had heard and read really good things about these hourglass scattered light shadows wow so that is pretty much it which is actually a lot of products now that i'm looking at everything just spread out around me right now where i'm sitting it is like such a mess i'm getting Getting major buyer's remorse because I did get a lot of a lot of products I have a ton of things from this haul and the last haul so I definitely have a lot of product testing to do and keeping busy I definitely want to do a makeup tutorial for you guys let me know what type of look you want me to do it's been a while since I've done one of those so definitely want to do that I also want to do some more hair routines and just whatever videos you guys want please let me know in the comments down below because I love filming for you guys As always everything I mentioned is gonna be listed in the description box down below in case I butchered a name of one of the products that i said i'm going to write everything down for you and the colors and the shades in case i really didn't say it in the video so if you guys want to go out and look it up and check it out you can so you have all the information i want to say thank you so much 
for watching my video, especially if you stay to the end of this video, thank you so much, because it is probably gonna be quite long, but I love how you guys are watching my YouTube channel, I appreciate you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.